So while we want to learn from the past, what has ha what what has while we want to learn what about from things that have happened in the past, right? The past doesn't have to define what will be in the future. In Christ, we are a new creation. Right. Oh God of new beginnings, new life, and new journeys, walk with us as we enter into a new year, a new path, with its new opportunities and its challenges. Amen. Amen. And there are so many challenges. Our entering preschoolers have been in isolation mode for virtually their entire life. These little COVID babies have not been out into the world. And so learning to play with others, learning that there are boundaries that others set, letting go of mommy and daddy, all of this is challenging for the little children. It's challenging for parents and teachers as well. I know on Friday, I think you guys were exhausted. And it had, school had only been open from Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. <laughs> I drove by Selena's High School on Friday, and I was deeply moved um, to see the teenagers in, their, in various stages of masking and walking in small groups or on their own. Selena's High School has already experienced one lockdown because of a student's loaded gun on campus. Uh, the training for teachers on how to deal with these kinds of events is nothing short of surreal. Our college students are heading back to dorms and in-person classes after a year of online labs and lectures. Jesus helps us to navigate these challenges. Helps us to navigate challenges by helping us to look up and look around to see where our resources are, to see uh, where the safe places are, who the trustworthy people are. And by developing and growing our own confidence and our own faith. Through Paul's letter to the Ephesians, we learn that what we pack inside of us is at least as important as what we pack into our backpacks. Every day, we can remind each other to pack kind thoughts and words towards ourselves and others, to clothe our minds with the, with the peace and security of being known, noticed, and loved. And to remember that we can always pray. We can always pray. I pray about the tiniest things, and I don't know whether God is actually intervening or not. I, I mean, I don't know. Most of the time, I think that what happens is that God does hear my little plea for help with something, and then an idea comes, or I find what I was looking for. So this is from St. Paul and from your pastor. <laughs> if you don't put anything else inside of you to get you ready for the day, every day, put this one thing, prayer, prayer. And the best three prayers I know of, I took from Anne Lamott. Oh, wow, right? Oh, wow. Can you say it? Oh, <laughs> wow. wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, help. Oh, help. Amen. Amen.